All right, so this is the creek he was talking about. Freaking flies are ticking me off already. Well, that might be my last view of civilization. So here's the bridge. And let's see what we got here. Said to follow this. I don't know how far. No idea how far I'm supposed to follow this. Or if it ends, or if it keeps going, or if it makes a loop. He didn't give me too many details, so. Actually, what I'm gonna do is, since I don't wanna drop my camera in the water, I'm probably gonna walk along this for a little bit. And then uh, once I find a good spot to uh, get an update, I'll update you guys. But I'm going to walk along here and, uh, yeah, these rocks are moving already. All right, I'll update you guys soon. Well, guys, I've been walking for about over half an hour, probably 45 minutes. And uh, first of all, it was a pain. There were bugs biting me every half a second. And uh, second of all, it just occurred to me that Joby is either... In a complete idiot or the worst planner ever because he told me to follow this river and I have however now I'm to a split the river either goes this way which is kind of the main one I've been following or this one which is a creek and uh, this one looks like it leads into the woods more and this one looks like I don't know it's more open bigger but I'm not really sure which way to go. And here's my compass. He said something about going north. And north is pointing in this direction. But this river is a freaking pain to walk on. Look at these rocks. Every half a second, I have to freaking step on these. And I'm about to lose my balance. And even if you try to walk on the side, which sucks because the grass is so tall, there are huge rocks in the grass as well. So, yeah. I think... Even though the creek right there looks a little bit easier to walk, I think I'm gonna go and walk a little bit more north, probably for uh, another hour or two, and um, I don't know. Hopefully that's the right way. If not, then I don't know, whatever. All right guys, after about an hour and a half of more walking, I didn't think it was possible, but the river is actually getting worse. I don't know if you can see behind me, but instead of just small little rocks that you can fall on now, now I have huge freaking boulders that I have to climb over. Walking in the woods is not an option because then you have boulders and trees and thorn bushes and whatever else. And it's also getting much more rapid, so I don't know if uh, I made the right decision at that split there going north instead of that nice calm creek. I don't really know what I was thinking. It's kind of too late to turn back now. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Let me pick up the camera and show you guys around. All right, so that's where I came from. And as you can see, the walls are also, it's like a little V sliding everything in. Impossible to walk on that. Try walking on that and uh, let me know how that works out for you. So the walls right here are pretty much just straight up. So that's pretty cool. And there's all my camera stuff. That's where I just made that video down there. And just some uh, terrible rapids and some more deadly rocks to freaking climb over. And if you look ahead, I don't want to get too far over the ledge because, yeah, I don't want to fall in there. And by the way, if you're thinking, oh, this is a nice place to stay because maybe you can fish in there. You see this? No fish. I didn't even see a freaking minnow yet. So. Up ahead, it just looks like more, you know, unbearable rocks. So, I really don't know what I'm supposed to do now. I guess I'm just gonna keep walking and hope it gets better. I mean, I don't really have a lot of choices right now. So, uh, yeah, give you guys an update soon. So, after about a day's worth of walking in like the most terrible conditions I could possibly imagine, I finally found something that put a smile on my face. It's a little mini waterfall behind me. And as you can see, Right after the waterfall, the water is actually really calm. So, you know, enough of those freaking rapids. So let me give you guys a little panorama. 
And I actually could walk in the woods up there. It was uh, smooth enough where I could. So there's a little waterfall. I guess it technically isn't a waterfall, but you know, it's the closest thing to it that I've seen so far. And just calm water. Still no fish or anything, so not sure what I'm going to do about food. So I'm probably going to spend the night here tonight. Since, you know, this is the first habitable place, habitable place I came across. And I don't think that it's a good idea to keep walking along this river because, I don't know, it just hasn't been the best idea so far. And to be honest, I'm beginning to think that this uh, entire decision probably wasn't the best idea of my life. I thought it was going to be super fun at first, but right now I'm just sweating my balls off and... I am super thirsty and I don't even have a fire and I don't want to drink this water because it has a bunch of parasites and bacteria into it so I know I have to boil it before I drink it and uh, I don't know it's just being a pain but anyways I smell really bad even to myself so I'm probably going to change into my swimsuit and go for a little swim and then I'll uh, unpack my gear and show you guys what all I have with me.